I'm going to go through kind of a 3D ankle mobility process that has helped me with uh, some foot and ankle issues. I have no idea if it will help you with foot and ankle issues. I think it's kind of a good way to keep the ankle mobile, whether you have a problem with it or not. So I'm going to start off with kind of a, a forward, back, or sagittal plane ankle mobility kind of stretch here. And all I'm doing is coming back and stepping forward. I'm working on my left ankle, by the way. Each time I come forward, I have kind of that stretch, and I come back and release. So that I'm moving through here rather than holding the stretch makes it a little bit more like real movement, you know, the way we walk or run. And I might get somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 reps or so. That's all going in this direction. Now we're going to bring in another plane of motion, or the transverse plane. I'm still going to step forward, but now I'm going to sort of step around. So I've kind of pulled my hips around. The result is I get sort of a twist in my ankle, okay? You may want to get that from the back too. So I'm getting a, a real kind of different stretch where I feel kind of along the outside. The other thing I'm doing while I'm doing that, I am keeping my big toe in contact with the ground. What I'm getting is an arch in my foot. This is kind of what's happening as I'm doing that stretch. And I don't want the foot to roll out. You see how my toe has left the ground. I want to keep my toe in contact with the ground. So I'm thinking about pressing the ball of my big toe and my toe into the ground as that rotation happens. Okay, there's one more drill here um, that's sort of similar to the last one. But I'm again going to get sort of in this slanted position here. I'm going to bring my right leg parallel to the ground still keeping my toe pressed I'm just kind of swinging my leg back and forth I'm letting a momentum carry me through and I'm still getting sort of that that twist in the ankle I'm getting a, um, a kind of a, some, some rotation to the hips and I'm, I'm in or supinating the foot still keeping the toe pressed to the ground so those are three drills that I think have helped my uh, heel and Achilles problems I do those as part of a warm-up with a lot of my clients. Maybe they'll be useful for you too.